Hey, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I am Kellen Fisher. And today we are going to be doing the 2023 New York Life ACC Men's Basketball Tournament bracket. Now, uh, this is in North Carolina, and the winner, so whoever wins the ACC championship, automatically gets to go to the March Madness tournament. So, is your team gonna, if you're an ACC fan and your team's in the ACC, are they gonna automatically go to the uh, ACC men's, or the March Madness tournament? Well, well I, don't, I probably won't pick your team, but maybe. All right. First one, Florida number 12 seed, taking on the 13 seed, 12 seed Florida State Seminoles in the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Georgia Tech has not, has not impressed me at all this year. But here's the thing. What month is it? This is March. And if, you, and if any of you guys know anything about March, Anything's possible. We have seen upsets. We have seen um, teams that are supposed to win win. So the opposite of upsets. A lot can happen. And neither one of these teams have impressed me at all this year. That's probably why I'm picking them first round. And I am not picking them the second or the quarterfinal round. So this, they, they, and they get the 2 o'clock game. On the ACC Network, uh, Tuesday, March seventh. I'm going to go. I'm going to go, Florida State. So if you have a bracket, go ahead and fill it out with me to so see if your picks are the same as mine. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Kellen underscore Sports, and message me through there if we have the exact same bracket picks. Um, now let's go to number 10, number 15, number 10, Boston College, against number 15, Louisville. Louisville. No, 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 no. This is not a good team. I don't like this team. I don't think this team is a good team. That's probably why they are the worst seed. And they're in the last seed in the ACC men's tournament. So, I'm going, and Boston College, they've had a few good wins. They have beaten Virginia. So, and I also like the Boston Bruins. And so, that's another reason. But any of you guys have been doing this for a long time, you know it doesn't matter if you've been um, watching, if you've been following the game. You have just as much of a chance to pick the right bracket as someone who's never watched. That is why it's all luck. It's all luck. And I've actually, I've, I have never, ever, ever had a perfect bracket in anything. I have tried, I have tried um, college basketball, NBA, MLB, NHL, NFL. I've tried all of it. Although I've never done MLS. I didn't even have a bracket for MLS. I don't know, I, didn't, I don't even watch soccer. Um, but I would like to. I like, I like the World Cup, though, because I like social studies in the countries. So, like, knowing all the countries, though. But, anyways, off topic. Um, I've never had a perfect bracket. Although, I did come very, very close in 2020, the NBA bracket. I got every single pick right. Every single pick. The teams they picked to play in the championship, the Bucks and the Suns. I was so close. But I picked the Suns to win it all. I picked the Suns to win it all. I could have picked my own team to win it all. And I've had a perfect NBA bracket. Perfect. But I sacrificed for the NBA. I sacrificed, though, for the... Uh, to not have, for my team to win and I'll get a perfect bracket. All right, number 11, Virginia Tech. And number 14, Notre Dame. I actually thought about picking Notre Dame, Notre Dame in this game. But after their last game, I don't think I'm going to. And then Virginia Tech, I would have thought 
but they I thought I would have thought they would be kind of ten, nine or ten seed. I wouldn't have thought it'd be that's for back at eleven. All right, first round is over. We move on to the second round. All right, it's number eight, Syracuse, and number nine, Wake Forest. There's a word. Now I'm doing this seed wise. I don't, I don't know what the line is, but upset wise, seed wise, there's 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 an upset for a reason, and that's because Wake Forest is going to come, is going to win in their own state, because if you didn't know that they were in North Carolina in the tournament is played in Greensboro, North Carolina, this year, or every year, I don't really know. The Seminoles are taking on the Pitt Panthers. Now, how are the Panthers the number five seed in this conference? Tell me. I would have thought that they would be in the bottom 12. 12 or below. I never would have thought they'd be number five. Never. This is the team that has surprised me the most this year. And they're going on to face number four, Duke. Now, is Boston College or UNC going to face number two, Virginia? I like... Let's go UNC. Uh, yeah, I had to think about that one for a little bit. But, because I just, you know, like, I, like, it's not like I'm just fake writing this down. Like, I printed out the bracket this morning, went off to go to school, because it's Monday, and the tournament starts tomorrow. So excited. Cannot wait. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead. And, uh, I'll go ahead and do an ACC one. Because no, nobody else though, starts till Wednesday. So I'm like, I got to go ahead and do the ACC one. But don't forget to smash that like button and the subscribe button if you want me to do a maybe a Big Ten or an SEC or a Pac-12 or a Big 12 or Big East. Those are the six brackets that I will most likely fill out. But I might not post on the YouTube channel until I see those thumbs up and the subscribe button get to a very high number. All right, number three, Clemson. Who are they gonna be facing? Number six, NC State or Virginia Tech? NC State, you know. They're also, you know, they're also in North Carolina, because NC, North Carolina. So, every single team that's in North Carolina playing in their own state, I have going to the quarterfinals. Let's go to the semifinals. Now, actually, let's put, I'm sorry, I'll pick the quarterfinal games who they're going to play in the semifinals. Okay, number one, Miami. This team, this shocked me the second most in the conference-wise. Pitt was number one. Pitt was overall across the board, across the country, probably across the world, if, other, if in the other, ba in the European basketball leagues and stuff like that, too. But, and you know, this is a good team, and this is a team that's going to the semifinals. Good job. Good job. Hurricanes, number four, Duke, um, and number five, Pitt. And there you go, Pitt. You get to knock off Duke. I remember the Duke dilemma a couple years, a while ago. Yeah, you know, I hate Duke. I'm sorry, I do. I don't like Duke. I don't like Minnesota. I don't, I don't really like um, USC. So, you know, I guess I don't like a lot of school. There's a lot more school that those are the ones that those are my main team, the teams that I don't like. But I don't like I don't like Duke because A they beat their rivals with UNC and I like UNC. And they beat Wisconsin in the national championship back in twenty fifteen. Uh UNC or Virginia. Oh, I think this one's a no brainer. And then watch me watch my picks just for that get all the way up to that game and then Virginia. 
loses. Virginia is going. It's obvious here. Unless if you want to go with an upset, I'm not gonna be mean to you. I think you're good. But I didn't who it but I don't know. Which they'll be facing they'll be facing Clemson. In the semifinals. Let's go to the championship game. Is it Miami or Pitt? Who's going to the championship game? And in my opinion the correct answer is Miami. Well Pitt. Pitt making a Championship run. Man, is it Virginia or Clemson? It is Virginia. And the moment you've been waiting for the championship pick. I'm going to go with Virginia. Virginia is your 2023 New York Live ACC Men's Basketball Tournament in Greensboro, North Carolina, 2023. Thank you all for watching. I've had fun. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe button. I'm Kevin Fisher, and I'll see you all in another video.